I'm so much impressed by people and attitude here. Complete with welcoming touches, Marjorie Williams has provided Irina Kmielewska with a home in St. John's for a month. After connecting with her on this website, she offered Kmielewska an apartment. I thought to myself, what a great opportunity to help. Both Newfoundland people and Newfoundland province appeared to be at the first step we made out of the plane a home. And Marjorie's house, a home for me, really. In Ukraine, Kmielewska has worked as a manager in the energy and aviation sectors. She's hoping to find work here. Many of the Ukrainians who came to Newfoundland in recent months already have. I'm following absolutely all and every lead I have, and I hope I will find something. Kmielewska's parents are still there, in the city of Zaporizhia. In Ukraine's embattled southeast, they encouraged her to seize this opportunity and get out while she could. The most painful in this is that I left my family behind and I'm the only child, so my parents are everything for me. It's a difficult transition. Williams is trying to help, showing Melevska around some iconic local sites. From the first messages we exchanged, I understood that the person is extremely kind-hearted. After the month is up, Williams says they will play things by ear, but she has high hopes for Kmielewska's future. And after that, I know she's going to have a job. So when she has a job, she'll just be a regular Newfoundlander. Kmielewska paints and hopes to find community in the local arts scene. She managed to tuck a couple of small oil paintings into her suitcase. My beautiful painting that Irina brought all the way from Ukraine for me. Personally, a gift that symbolizes her home in Ukraine as she begins life again in a new country. Chris O'Neill Yates, CBC News, St. John's.